This evening I was working with a gifted student and we were analyzing some literature, Call of the Wild, and I made reference to the term anthropomorphic and she said, she's 13, no, she's 12. Where did you come up with that word? So I got to thinking about it. I told her it's because I read a lot. And I said, okay, so here we go. Here's the word anthropomorphic. All right, we could break that down. I know that there's a word anthropology. And how would I break that down? Well, I know there's physiology and psychology and psychic and psychiatry. And over here, related to psych, it would be bulimic, bulimic and phonemic. And then I look back over here and I see the word morph. And okay, so we have morph. Wait a minute, there's morpheme and morphemic. And I was wondering how to break those down. So now I'm excited because I was wondering how to define morpheme. So coming back over here to anthropomorphic. Okay, so we're gonna to have to divide this into anthro. So we're gonna make a word sum, because here we have anthro in a different word, and morphic, which is over here, which is morph over here, but the ick would be separate. So, because this morph is a different free base. So we have this base over here, anthro, and then we have po, and then we have morph, and then we have ick. So we can make a word sum now. Hold on, let me paste this in here. There we go. Anthropomorphic. Now we can start to break down what these words mean and we'll understand morph and morpheme and morphemic as well as, as, well as anthropomorphic because I'm gonna be looking up what, an, what anthro means. And what's this po?